Hi, I'm back. Uh, I'm very high up again. Let's see, can we get, oh, reality. Uh, uh, that's fine. Okay, great. So uh, we're looking at PageKit and before the break, we got a basic site set up through Apache and had a look at a bit of the underlying structure of PageKit and it's looking great. So um, the thing that I wanted to see uh, specifically was what marketplace things are available um, because that interests me. It looks like not a lot of modules available, uh, which is cool, which is fun because that means there's a lot of ground to cover. Um, and I installed one or two of them, one or two of them, and they look cool. Played around with the form maker a bit in the break. And let's just have a look at what's on page two: portfolio and user profile. So not really a lot of stuff. I'll install this though because I'm curious to see what this is like. It's just like a whole big shiny new thing. So uh, the form maker thing that I played with a bit beforehand was to create a sign up form. Uh, that's interesting. Okay, so sign up, uh, sign up, okay, so that's interesting, there seems to be some kind of uh, replacement code thing, short code thing, that's what I wanted, uh, to be able to put this into any other pages, but now that I've enabled this, is it available in the menu? Yes, no, it is. Okay, but there are no things there, right? So let's add some fields. Do 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 email field. Why do I have to give this a site? Is that used for? Uh, Yours is required, save, and then let's refresh this. What's interesting here is that uh, it doesn't seem to have, it doesn't seem to have added that to the form. Hmm. It doesn't seem to have added that to the form. That's interesting. User email field, email. this even do <laughs> okay so I think this form uh, enables you to send uh, a confirmation email that's what it looks like um, I'm just resizing windows over here okay the problem is none of these fields are showing up and I hope this isn't because there is some elaborate uh, staging and um, staging and publication system going on here. I don't really like those. This isn't helping though. Site. Okay, okay, okay. That's right, that makes sense. Okay, so bef in the break, what I did was, no, I wanna copy this. No, I wanna copy, <laughs> why can't I just copy this? That's irritating, I have to go in there. So in the break, I made this page to try and figure out how to uh, how to add submission forms. Turns out you've got to make the form separately. You've got to make a page to hold it and then put the short code in there and this should display the form. Yes, yes, it does display the form. So if I put something in here, oops. Now, I, I don't even know if my local system is set up to relay mail, um, but I'll check out if I receive that mail. Maybe I will. Maybe there's some magic default setup going on. Okay. Spam folder, nothing. Inbox, nothing. So no, it doesn't appear to have sent that mail, which is completely understandable because it's not, my local system's not configured to do that. 
But this is interesting. You can install this uh, this this forms form builder module. I don't even remember its name. Form maker and create forms, and that will give you a short code, and you can put that somewhere else on your site, which is cool. So I made a special sign up page for this. Put that form on there, um, and I guess the rest is experimentation. So one active submission which it's tracked my email address. Okay, so it'll probably put fields in here and I can go through to that form. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I can add more fields. That's cool. So this is this is one interesting thing. Um, the trouble is I don't have email settings set up and I can't seem to find, oh, well, you know, I could have just done that. <laughs> okay, so um, I have a Mandrel account and I'm going to use that. Uh, host is that, port is port, that. My email address, ha ha ha. And it's going to be, to be encryption TLS, sure, why not, from Okay, save. Let's see if these settings work. Not now. Okay, let's go back to let's go back to here. And actually let's go and delete that one submission that we have. Oh what? User user profile. Oh, if I'm in the wrong wrong thing okay one active submission let's spin this D delete Del delete <laughs> it's a subtle ui i'm just gonna go with that let's just go with it subtle okay back to chat submit again submission successful open up email again And nothing yet. Nothing yet. I'm going to guess that the one active submission, let's spin this again. I'm going to guess that the form email needs some text. Hello, thanks for things. Enable markdown, save. Okay. Uh, and then I'll sign up again. Sign up successful. Come on, Mandrel. Let's go back to this dashboard just to see how many emails are sent. Zero are sent. So I don't know if it's just not connecting. Also, what's with this double title, man? Uh, back to this page, site. <sighs> it's interesting learning this stuff. Delete the title. Oh. How do you? That's um that's interesting. Maybe if you delete it from here, is it still required? Why? Why would you do that? My title. There we go. Now it should only be once. There we go. Okay. The other thing I want to do is change the email settings because uh, I had TLS there, but I can also have SSL. I'm assuming that'll work. Save. I should probably also have tested the connection. Could not establish. Hmm. FMTP and OK OK. No. How do I just? Dip this in. 
Kanban settings. <laughs> Just trying to find the settings page on Mandel again. I'm not putting it on the screen because uh, I don't want to share sensitive information. That's the right domain. That's the right port. I'll add a new API key. <laughs> the other one was made quite a while ago, so maybe it's not. Okay, save. Oh, check. Yes. No. Oh. Okay, well, I've deleted the old key, uh, but I don't think this is going to give me much luck. Do I have to say none? That's pretty dodgy if that's the case. No! Why wouldn't you allow that of SSL? That's so bad. Okay. Anyway. <laughs> Let me go back here and delete the uh, user that I have created or submission that I've done, whatever. Okay, and sign up for the however many at a time. Go to my inbox. And is it delivered? Not an inbox. Not in spam. It's so not delivered. Connect with Kurt's dashboard. Okay, let's go to the Mandel dashboard. Zero of 12 emails sent this month. Zero sent this hour. So that's still not sending. I don't know why, but I don't want to waste too much more time on this. Um, what I am interested in is looking at the structure of creating modules. So I'm going to install this extension blueprint and uh, once that's done, we can, we can mess about with what that is. This must be the blog module that's installed by default. Uh, so user profile, what's user profile about? Mm, this is obviously for people signing up to the site. Although, I mean, maybe it's not that. Location. And then go here. Does it just add an extra field to this? User profile. Ah, that's interesting. So if I put Wellington in here, I wonder if this module, let's have a look at some code. I wonder if this module um, adds, let's try this, let's see. User profile, creates its own table. Uh, with a little bit of um, things to be valued here. Hmm, how does this tie into the user system? Routes profile, resources, menu, permission, settings, override, registration, events, group, request. I want to know how this ties into the user section in the CMS. So this stuff is that top menu, right? But how does this connect to the, 
how does this connect to the user section? So if you disable this, I'm fairly certain that the user profile link in CMS, check here, I'm fairly certain that this link goes away if you disable that module. So how did I do that? I'll have to try and figure that out a little bit later because I imagine it can be kind of boring to sit and watch. Anyway, um, here's another thing. Let's go through a logged out version of this. Sign up. Okay, that's not good. It's not what I wanted. Um, how do you register new user accounts? Is there a member profiles thing? Is there a way to register new accounts? If I go here and I see permissions, I guess roles are what assign permissions, right? So you can assign permissions to roles. Maybe I can have a forum module, for instance, and have a different role for forum user and have a kind of sign up form for forum users. Hang on, let me go back here. Let me go back here. What I want to see is if I go to page kit, uh, not that, I guess it'll be somewhere in modules or I'm looking for routes that will reveal to me whether you can uh, register on the system. So routes. It's not that I could search through this for quite a while and and possibly not find it. So I don't think I should search for it right now. But what I want to find out is if there is some kind of hidden uh, hidden registration page because that would save time. Like if I wanted to set up a forum, I could make an extension, but if that registration page already exists, well, then I wouldn't have to code that up myself. Um, in the meantime, uh, I think we're going to take another short break. So hang around for two minutes and I will see you in, in a bit.